Hi, sorry, I'm back. I was just grabbing something, so... Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hello, Chu. I wanted to do the final fit. <laughs> Hi, Faki. I laugh at everything, Chu. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> My way of coping is laughing. The world's ending. <laughs> I checked the when the heavens turn event ended and I was like oh shit that ends on the 19th next week and I I don't know what's going on with uh, my wall but there's a very real chance my carpet might have to be replaced which means that's gonna take even longer for me to get back to streaming so I thought well, now's my chance to at least get a couple of streams in. That's because Pocky didn't know. <laughs> this was a surprise for everyone except me. Oh god, there's a, there's an update for Phasmophobia. Oh no. Got all of those surprises. Do you know what's really funny? On my Steam, it says, you've played Final Fantasy XIV for 565.5 hours, and that's only on Steam. That's the Steam time. That's not counting the, uh, past... Oh, shit. Uh, the past two years I've been playing on the PS4. Well, actually, three years past three years I've been playing on the PS4 version, so. Oh, there it goes. Oh god. Oh. 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 Ah, shit. Give me a second. There we go. Hopefully. <laughs> Fine blocking, don't worry. I haven't shifted over to the game yet. We're, I'm still logging in. I figured I'd wait until I fully logged in. Oh my god, the queue's only 24 people! Everyone clap! Only 24 people, that's amazing! Ah! Yeah, I might have to be replaced. It depends on what the uh, inspector says whenever we get one in. Streaming and monitoring my life. <laughs> Suffering. Spectre gadget. <laughs> I'm gonna switch over now. There it is. Oh, there's a person here. I think they're a bunny boy. 
Uh, they are indeed a buddy boy. What? They waved to me. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna check in on my house. Oh, they're saying howdy. Uh, uh. I'm so bad at this shit. Fuck! I'm so bad at this. There we go. I'm so bad at communicating. Help! Ah! Yeah, I just need to go in and check. I did! I did! I said hello back. Yeah, I just need to go inside and... <laughs> Make sure the free company house doesn't get torn down. I need a... Shit, I don't know where to go. I think. I'm trying to remember where the. I think it's Lim Limsa. Let's go to Limsa. <laughs> I think that's where we need to go. I get so scared when people talk to me on this game for some reason. I like have a moment of. Oh god! Human interaction! Help! <laughs> I don't know why. But just, it's really dumb because whenever, whenever I go into the duty finder, I always say, hi, let's do this or something like that. God, I hope I picked right. Well, I should switch back to party. I'm using, usually in party chat. I have no fucking clue how long this stream's going to be either, by the way. It's actually really quiet. Turn up. Whoa. Whoa, there we go. Maybe I'll just turn up the in-game sound. Maybe that will help. It was right in front of my face. I just can't see it, clearly. Just do that. Is that better? Can you guys get actually hear the game now? <sighs> yeah, so the Heavens Tournament is, uh, you can hear the game? Okay, that's good. So the Heavens Tournament is always centered around, like, the Chinese Zodiac. So I believe it's the Tiger. Not the Chinese Zodiac, it's... Or is it? My brain just went, is, it, is there a tiger in the Chinese? I don't think there's a tiger in the Chinese Zodiac, is there? Am I a dumbass? I need a ch I need, I need a what? Oh, it is! Okay. Yeah, I literally saw it right when you said, on, I literally saw it on uh, Google right when you said yes. See, that's the, they usually do, like, a Chinese Zodiac thing. I, I sort of, like, I always end up, like, thinking, like, no, I definitely know this thing. And then I start second-guessing myself, like, wait, what if I'm wrong or I'm remembering wrong? Because I've done that before, where I remembered something wrong. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, you there, unless my eyes deceive me, you strike me as a lady that knows how to look after herself. Yes. It is true. 
An adventurer, you say? Oh, how fortuitous. But where are my manners? I am the Toro Bogiel, and it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. May I ask for a moment of your time? Are you going to give me your hat? <laughs> they always give us one of those, uh, I don't remember what they're called, but those like head... They're, they're, they're technically hats, but because they're, they're the hat piece that goes on your head. Head piece. They have an actual name, and I don't remember what it is. <laughs> You're far too kind. Allow me in the ca that case to explain my current situation. I made my way to Eorzea as part of a delegation sent for Hingashi to partake in the Heaven's Turn celebrations. I have a root that the Eorzeans believe that, at year's end, the gods choose one among their number to serve next as a herald of good fortune. In the Far East, it is not a god, but one of the twelve great beasts that is chosen. And this year shall begin belong to the formidable Torah. You may know it as a tiger in these lands. Regardless, you will doubtless now understand why I come dressed in my prison attire. It's just a mask. This probably guy will probably say it in the name and the item when we get it. So we'll, we'll find out then. <laughs> now allow me to proceed to the heart of the matter. Yeah. A different, uh... Like, for us it's just a mask, but... It may just be mask in Chinese. <laughs> Potentially, yes. Normally, we celebrate auspicious events with a spot of mochi pounding. However, I think you'll agree such a meager celebration is hardly befitting of the mighty Torah. No, I have something much grander in mind, and I'm currently searching for like-minded souls to help me. Frankly, a battle-hardened adventurer such as yourself would be perfect. Should you be willing to aid me, I shall see you work with a co- Oh, it's a kabuto. Kabuto of your own. What say you? Pretty sure that's what he's got. Hopefully not. Oh, thank you kindly. Now. Oh boy, here we go. Here comes the conflict in the quest. Why, Tora Buggy, I see you found a willing assistant at last. Ah, your timing couldn't be better. This is kind souls willing to lend a much needed hand. That's an Anmyoji. Hey. Well, I must say she certainly looks the part. Uh, what does that mean? Would you not agree, Master? She's perfect for the ceremony. Ahem. You may want to hear her opinion on the matter first. Could you see she's positively bewildered at present? But let me to clear up exactly who we are first. We are a clan of mages practicing the ways of Anma... An Anmyodo? Anmyodo. Coming to perform a ritual designed to quell evil forces. It is nothing overly complex. We must simply put on a performance that we may, we hope will please the gods. The ritual this time has had its origins in a rather old tale concerning a ferocious tiger. Okay. What do I do? We will use our powers to give life to the tiger, adorning the folding screen you have brought with us. Then you, in your role, role as a bloodthirsty warrior, shall vanquish the foul beast. Assuming you agree to participate, of course. You bet I slay tigers for breakfast, or why do I have to take part in this again? I'm going to do the why do I have to do, do, do this again? Well, I am me. Tristan has long dictated that someone local to the area take part in the ritual, only then it is guaranteed to be truly effective. I'm not really local, local though. Like, this character I play is... Her, her apartment is in... Well, duh. That's like on the mainland. This is on an island. So I once again ask, I will ask once again, are you willing to lend us your aid? Oh boy. Sure, why not? I've got nothing better to do, I guess. You have my sincerest thanks, kind adventure. Now if you'll excuse us, we must ready the ritual site. Yes, bow to me. Bow to your ruler. You would head to the site in Middle Lenosha, southeast of the Zephyr Gate. I shall see to the inviting spectators to the performance. Did you see Middle Lenosha? I'm already forgetting what, what he said. Middle Lenosha, okay. 
You know what I'm going to do? Because I'm lazy as hell. And I'm not even going to bother trying to figure out where that is. I am just going to go down here. And I'm going to use the Ethernet shard. Ha ha ha, I'm lazy. This will just teleport me straight to middle Lenosha. I think the achievement is called Feline Fun. It's it's just a, it's just a feeling I have based on something I saw in in the chat. <laughs> oh wait, it's this way. I went the wrong way. Complete the fate. Torah Torah burning bright. Oh, it's going on. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh Jesus. How is is it is it? Oh God. I'm gonna miss it. I missed it. I missed it. Finally. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck me. What the shit did I just see happen? What, what, what the shit did I just see happen with my own two eyes? Well, uh, I'm gonna go chill out over here. Oh god, I never got around to putting my emotes. On my hot bar. This is fine. Okay, and I'm going to go stand over here. Actually, are those NPC? Are those all NPCs? I think those are all NPCs. Holy shit! Okay. Oh, fucking hell. It's so much easier to just sit on the ground without actually standing up. Oh, wait, is it already happening again? <laughs> wait. Okay, I'm gonna wait for some more people to come. I'm not gonna trigger it yet. <laughs> I was expecting the wait to be a lot longer. Oh wait, shit. Why is Blizzard 2 gone? Hey, hello? Did they update and get rid of Blizzard 2? What the f- Okay, that's a thing that I guess I have to fuck around with later. Uh, I literally just noticed I don't have- There it is. Okay. Oh! Big tiger. Big- oh, oh. No, 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 I'm gonna get hit. Yeah. It's a good thing my chocobo can heal. Big eggs. I'll be okay. I can't do any healing. Okay, sir. <laughs> Fortunately, I don't have any healing abilities of my own. Oh, he's- if I get close. right now. Wow, my, my, ch my chocobo took like no damage just now. Like at all. Okay. This is actually really easy. 
Like, like... Like, I kind of wish I did a different class, but at the same time... Okay, that was a little scary. Uh. Okay, we're down to halfway already. There's not really much uh, to say about this guy. Except he's a bit. He's a big tiger that does a lot of shit. Okay. Uh. I'm going to definitely be taking some damage here, probably. Oh, no, never mind. I'm good. I'm good. I'm okay. Never mind. I thought I was going to take some damage there. I was like, okay, get ready. Get ready to get face slapped. So, you know, that didn't actually happen, so... Okay, I am definitely going to get hit there. That's okay, I have my chocobo. This is why I have my chocobo who can heal. Also, I'm going to have to fix my hotbar. I can't believe they got rid of Blizzard 2 after the new update, the new patch launched. What did I- what the hell is this? Heaven's Turn of the Tiger ticket. Oh, okay. Like any other stuff? Interesting. I only know, like, your quest rewards. I don't know if there's any other items you can get. Whee! Let's go on my fat cat. I love the fat cat. It's so cute. Look at- I mean, look at- look at this thing. Look at this thing. Are you gonna look me in the eye and tell me this thing isn't cute as shit? Look at it. Look at it. It's so cute. I want 50 of them. <laughs> I also took- got, like, no- I got like no EXP from that, which is a little disappointing. Ugh. Wait, how much EXP did I get from that? You should have told me. Oh, did it not give me any? Wait. No, I'm confused. It should have told me if I got EXP. I'm so confused. Never mind. <laughs> Moving on. Ethernet, let's go to the aft castle. I might do some of the daily stuff while I'm logged in. Just because we're going to be done, I think, very quickly. <laughs> With this event, like I think we're almost done already. <laughs> so I figure, well, might as well do some of the daily stuff, like the beast tribe stuff. Ah, uh, you returned. Judging by your contented expression, I assume the ritual was a resounding success. Sure, whatever you say. <laughs> I take it, all friend, it's delivered the good news. Truly an astounding performance. It was as if I was gazing upon the great Tenzin himself. Ten who? 
Tenzin is the hero that inspired the ritual we just performed. Tell Tenzin is far and away the most well-known epic in the Far East. Our little performance just now was inspired but by but a part of it. Legend has it that upon stopping a small village whilst on his travels, Tenzin encountered a starved, crazed tire. Naturally, he made sure work of the beast, thus saving the peasants from their plight. I think that's a real story, probably. Tales such as this tend to become somewhat exaggerated over time, and while I cannot account for their veracity... Veracity? I don't know. The importance of helping those in need is something that cannot be overstated. Let me extend our thanks to, one, to you once again for all that you've done. As promised, this Kabuto is yours to keep. I think it is the hat thingy. Thank you once again, noble adventurer. We intend to put on our performance a few more times during Heaven's turn. We should be glad for your census again, if you are willing. Yeah, it's the hats. So you get a gold one and a silver one. Oh, you have to pick one, though. Hmm. I'm gonna go with silver. Silver tends to go with the pink more often. I mean, gold goes with pink, too, but... Hmm. Actually, either of them, either of them would have been a good choice. That was that was the feline fun achievement. Yeah, see, we're already done. <laughs> Where is where'd that go? Where did it go? There's the heavens turn tiger. Oh, it's probably in my armory. Yeah, it's in my armory. There it is. Try on. There we go. <laughs> I want to. I want to. I want to look at the face, please. Thank you. I want to look at the face, but it's... Oh, there we go. <laughs> a beard. You too can have a beard. <laughs> Alright, um... Let's see. Let's just do, like, the leveling roulette. See what we get. Where is my food? There we go. Oh, there's a sage! I still need to get the sage class. It's the only one I haven't gotten yet. I think I'm going to chill in the inn while we wait for the duty finder to go. Woo! In fact. God, I hope it lets us actually... Oh, wait, there it was. There we go. Let's go ahead and chill. Just do a little little bit of sitting. Ah shit. Why am I so bad at this? I'm so used to the PS4 version. Anyway, here I am. Sitting and chilling, yes. <laughs> While we wait for <laughs> for at least a dungeon. So this isn't just like thirty minutes. I just I don't want this to just be a thirty minute stream. That'd be so weird. 
I guess it would be weird, but like, I don't know. I just want to give you a little, give you guys a little bit more than just the event, I guess. Like the main bit for the event. So yeah, we're gonna do the... Do a roulette. Hopefully we actually get a... This is gonna take a while too, so we might as well sit and chat while we wait. Uh... So I am still gonna be streaming tomorrow. For, uh... Undertale? I just realized I could be fixing my thing while we talk. But, um... Oh, this is the new... Oh! That's the new Blizzard 2 spell. They changed the that's, they changed how the Blizzard 2 spell works. So that's what's going on. Okay. But yeah, anyway. I fixed my bar. We're good. So the Undertale stream is still going to be at uh, 1pm tomorrow, so. Ah! That's, that stream's probably going to be a long one. I'll be honest, because we're going to be doing, uh, the Asgore fight, and then we have to go do the end, and then, yeah, they just changed the Blizzard to Panic, but, um, and then we have to do all the stuff we need to get the Pacifist, which is arguably not a lot, like, I'd say it's, like, another hour, two hours of content, so... I forgot how I did Flowey's voice. <laughs> I might have to go back to the first Undertale stream and see what I did for, uh, for Flowey's voice. Because <laughs> I forgot how I did Flowey's voice and... <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I... Off the top of my head, I feel like tomorrow's stream might be four hour, three to four hours long. Like... It just it just depends on how how many times we how many times we have to redo the fights. Uh how fast I am getting through certain areas and all that stuff. So that'll be fun, right? <laughs> yeah. I I'm my stamina's good. I can, I can go to like six or seven hours, especially if I have someone else, I think, to bounce off of. It's a lot easier. I actually think I get less tired if there's someone else too, but Whoa. the wait time went up. Oh no! The average wait time went from sixteen to seventeen. <laughs> Yeah, no problem. Yeah, um... And I have been thinking about what I'm going to do about the PS4. Like, I do need to go get the PS4 fixed anyway. And I don't know how long that's going to take. Like, best bets, oh, it'll only take a couple days. Because they they'll have to get it in, open it up, and then... Fix whatever's wrong and then put it back together. Worst, worst case scenario, they, they have to order a new... Get, order a new, uh... Destroy for it. <laughs> and then that might take like a week or more. So I was thinking about just for now. Uh or or this will all happen during the time period where I have to take the break from the streaming because of my wall <laughs> and the carpet. Because that's going to be a pain in the ass, but. Because if I just do it during that time period, 
Whatever, right? I have to take a break from streaming anyway, so it's not a big deal. But... It does mean that we have more time to do, like... I'll be doing a lot of art stuff off offline, so I'll probably be working on... <laughs> Go out play in the snow. A wool. A wool and a wool. <laughs> curse. I'm gonna curse you all with this. <laughs> but, um... Honestly, I need to get all my. Yeah, the snow all the snow finally mel melted yesterday night. Well, I say yesterday night, more like yesterday evening. So I think there's a little bit of snow on like one part of my roof of the house still. Like, cause the way our house is positioned, half of the roof is constantly in sunlight, and the other half is constantly in shadow. feel that pain going from 80, 80s in Fahrenheit to 40s in just like a single day. Uh. Oh yeah, and I've been I've been uh, dyeing my hair. Well, bleaching and dyeing it. I'm gonna be finishing that uh, off tomorrow. So that's gonna be fun. I have to do the pink next because I just did the purple and I <laughs> all of my blue disappeared. <laughs> All of my blue went just vanished. I didn't even put a lot of purple on the blue part. Like I consciously made the effort not to put any any of the purple dye on the blue part of my hair, and I, I somehow I still managed to dye my uh, blue part more purple. Nah. It would be weird if my blue dye had totally disappeared, just like. And then I just have, like, bleached bottom half of hair and bleached roots. <laughs> Aww. My little, my little wormy buddy jumps. Yeah, I'm doing pink tomorrow. For the rest of the hair that I didn't dye today. So, Oof. wish me luck with that. Because <laughs> I'm also going to be doing my color sealer and stuff too the same day. This is all before the Undertale stream, <laughs> by the way. Hopefully it'll all be like dry or at least only slightly damp when the stream starts, but... Yes, I bleach and dye my own hair. <laughs> I mean, I think the inspector has to actually because we have to uh, pick a, like call a specific company and have them come out ourselves. The the home warranty insurance guys don't do that so and we haven't called anyone yet so that's probably what we're going to be doing tomorrow evening is call or well, not tomorrow evening but like sometime tomorrow probably gonna be there's someone's going to be calling them yeah so earliest the inspectors will probably be coming is wednesday either way i am going to have to be unhooking my pc <laughs> And moving it, so I won't be able to stream, probably won't be able to stream on Thursday. Because I have to move my dresser, which is where my PC currently is. So. Oh god. Oh. Eorzea, how dare you become daytime. No. Alright, we're gonna flip. 
There we go. That's better. That's a little bit better. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing Belle, the movie, on Friday. That's going to be fun. Uh, for those who don't know, Belle is a movie by Studio Chizuru. Studio Chizuru. Who also did, like, Boy and the Beast, Wolf Children... Girl Who Loved Through Time, Summer Wars, all of those movies, that, that they did those. So, that, that company did. And now they made Belle, which originally came out in Japan last year. I think, I want to say July? It was a J month. That's, that's what I can remember for sure, is it was a J month. And... I am currently brushing my hair. My hair is really thick right now. Or, well, not really thick. It's getting tangled really easily. Anyway, um... I'm excited for it. I've, I've been wanting to see it since last year. But it's only been available in, like, North America this... Like, I think, like, this Friday is the first time it's been available in North America. So, they did an English dub of it that actually looks really good. Like, they even put in the effort of getting, like, the because the main character does sing, she sings. So they actually put in the effort of actually having the songs dubbed in English. July 15th, 2021. Yeah, okay, I thought so. I thought it was Jay. J July. It's apparently also been nominated for an Oscar. So that's exciting, I guess. We're still waiting for the We're Oh! I just noticed our roll wait our our number in the roll is five. Okay. Nice. We're almost there. I'm gonna have to get used to this new uh blizzard too. Because from the looks of it, it's actually a, it's actually what people thought Blizzard 2 used to do, was that it would cast an AOE on the opponent instead of around you, which is what the old AOE, what the old one used to do. So I'm not really mad. Ooh. There we go. I'm the only DPS that's ready yet. Our D a D the DPS. The other DPS is gonna bail, aren't they? And we sat in a couple seconds, aren't I? Oh boy, here we go. Please. Please. No! It's good time out. The other DPS probably got up to go do something else. Game of endless cues. There we go. That they're playing with my feelings. Oh, it's just Astasha. Are you kidding me? It's Astasha. All I do is live in pain. All, all I do is live in pain, guys. What what are they doing? I can't so I wanna see what okay I What are they doing? Okay, I haven't tried Blizzard 2, so I'm gonna try Blizzard this is my first time using Okay, it, it does do what I thought it did. Okay. That's actually really cool. Well, that's the thing that just happened.
I think the game is louder for you guys than it is for me right now. So I might turn up my sound just a little bit. There we go. Oh my god. Every single time. I... We're gonna just AoE our, our lives to death. Oh my god. Yes, there's a lurk command panic. Uh, so sort of? I wouldn't say it's super new. Oh god, yeah, I totally forgot that you don't level up in fights anymore. That the way they ch the, the leveling works in the game is different now. Which explains why everyone's just storming through, why it's, they're not even uh, doing the fights. I am being... Okay, for a second I thought I was being targeted. It was like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna switch over to... Lizard. Yeah, as of, I think, 6.0, they made it so you don't get EXP outside of, I think, either outside of boss fights or the end of the dungeon. I forgot to use thunder. Ugh. Ugh. Pass. I don't need any of this low level gear. Get it out of my face, please. Yeah, we're just going, I guess. We're, we're moving. We're moving. There we go. We're going. Oh my god, it, de it deselected what I was targeting. I'm just gonna do him now. Yeah, see, I haven't gotten a single lick of EXP this entire time, I don't think. See, okay, yeah, it's only during uh, boss fights now. Boss fights is the only place where you get EXP now. Which I can't tell if that's a good or bad decision. <laughs> Cause on one hand... It means that potentially... There will no longer be people who will like, actively make a big... Fucking problem... Of shit, but at the same time, you get situations like this. Where you're terrified that the player, your your tank's gonna die. Cause your tank just does not give a shit. Yeah. Well, that's, it's not that they don't give a shit. It's that the the like I guess the meta of the games changed slightly as a result because of this. I got it. I got the captain's quarters key. We're good. We can go. Okay, I gotta deal with the loot again. It's 
Finish the fucker off. I just forgot because I haven't done a dungeon at all since uh, 6.0 came out because I've been busy with other stuff. Well, maybe I did it. I think maybe I did one dungeon and I just forgot or didn't notice. Which is also a thing that I could totally have done. I need to get closer. I'm going to blizzard their faces in. Never mind, it's time to do this. See, see, we're not even bothering to take out the entirety of the ads anymore. It's just go, go, go. Go, go, go. Ah, oh, damn it. Woof. It's gonna, it's definitely gonna have to be, take some getting used to, but it does mean that we're gonna get through this dungeon a lot faster. Uh, which, you know what? I can live with that. I, I actually don't like Sestasha. I, I'm sick of having to do Sestasha. Like, all the time. Sestasha's like the dungeon that you constantly have to do. See you, Leon! <laughs> no, just, yeah, he's, he's down. But also looks like, yeah, it looks like the. Actual, like, how much, uh. The XP you get is. has increased. Yeah, you go. I think we're gonna kill it before any of the ads actually spawn in. Uh. Oops. Yeah, see, it's down. Not, not a single one! Here, I'm gonna give it to the, the tank for dealing with that. Pass. Pass. Oh, I got player comms! I actually like a gang player combinations. It makes me feel good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if other game I don't last I recall 14 is one of the only games that has this system, but there's the player commendation system where if you play with random people through the duty finder, you can like give them commendations if they did well. Like, uh I haven't played in a while, so my commendations are low, but I have like almost five hundred. I used to get more when Bard had more utility as a support class because they took uh, they took our MP res restoration skill away. I haven't gotten I don't get as many comms. Like at least 300 of, 300 of those commendations are just from being a Bard. And the other 100 is from my healing runs. Which says a lot about how much people like a good bard, you know? <laughs> and it makes me sad that they kind of took our utility. I will cr I will be sad about it forever. <laughs> like, if I switch to bard right now... 
God, did they change any of... That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> did they change any of our skills? Okay, no, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Had a moment of fear. Yeah, normally... Girls for seduction. So once upon a time, uh, we actually had uh, two restoration skills here, because once upon a time we had a third bar down here by the MP, but they got rid of it in Shadowbringers. It was called the TP bar. It was for use with like these type of skills, like the regular weapon skills, and not like you know spells. But they ended up getting rid of it, I think, to like streamline it. So that the, they got rid of the TP bar, and in turn, I think that ended up making them remove. It wasn't that I it didn't make the TP bar bigger. It just gave it gave everyone a passive restoration, so it would restore the the like amount of TP you got over time. Yeah, it's the TP. Te it's I think it stands for te I think it stood for technical points. Yeah, I think I said it too fast. <laughs> I think I said it, like, if I say it really fast, TP, uh, unless you're, like, really listening, that could probably sound like PP. <laughs> so. But yeah, um. So it was just a skill that would restore the technical points. And the mana points. Magic points, whatever the hell you want to call them. Uh, but because they got rid of the technical point bar, I guess they decided, well, we're going to get rid of both of the restoration skills from bards and machinists. And it kind of sucked, because it was... I feel like it got rid of some of... Bards' utility. Makes me sad. Anyway, I'm going to go boogle. We'll go back to Black Mage. Because Black Mage is technically the only one I could level up right now. Uh, so I think Duty Finder wise, I don't know what else I have available. Yeah, I only have Guild Heist available right now with uh, my Black Mage. I don't think I can even... What? Let's see. Is the Reaper here? No, it's Dark Knight. Dragoon. Okay. Uh. Where is my Reaper? Where's my Scythe? <laughs> No, seriously, where my scythe go? <laughs> yeah, basically. I mean, there's a couple of stats, too, that are, like, dead stats. Like, uh... Like, if I remember right, tenacity is one of the skill... Tenacity is, like, a dead stat, if I remember right. I think piety is, too. Unless they fixed that in this, in, uh, 6.0. I don't think they did, though. Where is, where is my stinking scythe? There it is. There we go. I can actually play my reaper class! Holy shit! Dead stat. It means that it's a stat that's kind of, like, I guess broken? Is what I want to say. Uh... It's a stat that used to have a use, but no longer does. Or it's a stat that still exists that has no real effect on, like, what happens. Yeah, F. Also, look at this. This is my Reaper outfit right now. Fancy. And then, then there's the scythe you get. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> I I'm so glad I can play it. Holy shit! I've been re I've been operating the, under the assumption this whole time I couldn't play my Reaper class on PC because I don't have Endwalker on PC. I have it only on PS4. But I can play it if I have it on the character, which is yes. <laughs> Holy fucking shit! Oh god, okay, what I need to do is I need to figure out what the combos are, because I can't remember what the combos are and shit, so I'm gonna have to- I'm gonna get- I'm gonna clear this out. Get rid of this shit. Get out of my face. No! Out of my face! And then we could probably do a, uh... We could probably do another dually roulette, because if we go to- See? We now have all of these options! We can do all of these! Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! I'm probably only- Oh! <laughs> I didn't intend to do that, but I was- <laughs> I'm way too excited about this. Oh, I can't- I don't have a target, so I can't use it. Okay, this- I'm so excited. Can you tell how excited I am? This is so fun. Uh, I'm so happy. I am like... I don't remember what my key bindings were. My hot bar bindings were on a PS4, so I'm just gonna fucking look at these shit. So I'm gonna definitely put this first. Because that's the basic attack. So obviously we need to have that. So this is combo with slice. What's this comboed with? Uh, is this the AoE? No, it's not the AoE. We'll put this over here. <laughs> uh, I think I'll put this also right here. Maybe like here. Elves ingress. Oh, this is the like quick quick move. Where's the ingress? Where's the other ingress? Where art thou? Where did it go? Okay, there's. Ingress and egress. It's the uh, auto teleport, so like. <laughs> that was. That's a lot of work. Yeah! I'm way too excited. That's, that's still super cool to watch. Uh, is this the AoE? Here's the AoE. Put the AoE here. Uh, this goes with waxing slice, which I think is over here. Whirl of death. I'm gonna put you here. Arcane crit. I'm gonna put this over here. Nightmare slice. This goes with spinning scythe. So I'm just like baking. I'm trying to like sort of keep everything and like around in the same spot. Actually, I'm going to move this somewhere else. Uh, so I'm going to put the soul slice here. Soul scythe. I'm going to put that there. So I think I'm going to put that there. And that there. Then we can we can start putting the rest of these down. Uh it's a flank rear. Arcane circle. Ooh. It's a buff. It's a damage buff to players. Uh which is like the perfect thing to do before someone does a limit break, actually. Shroud offers your flesh as a vessel to your avatar, gaining maximum sex of Limmer Shroud. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Plentiful harvest. I'm gonna do that also right there. Communio. I'll put this over here. I don't think. Yeah, these are all. 
ability, ability. Yeah, I can't pick those up. So let's go do the rolls. Roll, roll skills now. Put true north. See, the, I'm gonna put all the really useful ones near the limit break. The rest of these, arm's length, leg sweep, and faint. It's true north. No. No. Oh. Okay, yeah. Arm's length is important for some some things. Okay, you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to actually teleport to my FC estate house. Because we have, or we did have, a, a dummy outside of it that I was thinking about uh, we could practice on before I tried anything crazy. Okay, that's the basic. Hello. <laughs> oh, that's like here. Interesting, interesting. Hello! Okay. Okay, I think I have a, a, a general idea of how the combos work for Reapers. So why don't we- why don't we do a duty- uh, the last duty finder for the Stream. Let's go ahead and do a 50-60-70 Oops. roulette. Let's go. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, I should I should probably get different food. I need to eat the other another food. Where is my battle food? Here it is. There we go. This is gonna be fun, guys. I haven't actually done a dungeon with this class, so this is gonna be really fun, I think. They went first person. Nice. I remember there's a way to hide the UI, but I don't remember what it, button it is. Let me check. Uh, keybind. Uh, targeting. System. Ooh, scroll lock. So maybe if I hit... I don't even know if I have scroll lock on this. Is this it? Oh, it is! There we go. <laughs> I just... I took a screenshot. <coughs> you know. Uh, for a, uh... A thumbnail for the future. You know what? Now that we have this, I'm going to try and level up Reaper to 80. And then we'll just use the Reaper class for all of the raids. 
Or maybe we'll level up to 70, 78, because if we do all the other raids, that should level us up enough to do the level 80 raids. Let's see here, where is... let's sit it down. This is my room. We're having a nice chill time in this, uh, I was going to say Denny's. We're having a chill time in the Denny's tonight. <laughs> oh, I don't know why Denny's is the first thing I think. Welcome to Denny's. I don't know any of the items on Denny's menu anymore. I don't remember how any of them are, like, on this out off the top of my head. Okay. The only thing I could think of anymore with the Welcome to Denny's is uh, there was like this one YouTuber who did who did like a bunch of Animal Crossing streams, and for some reason there's like a bunch of islands that had like cursed Denny's on them. And that's all I could think of is the cursed Animal Crossing Denny's. I don't. It's weirdest thing. I don't know why. How much longer? Ah, shit. The time went up. Fuck. Probably somewhere in the back room. In the freezer. <laughs> Have you seen how freezers are in, like... Have you seen the way freezers are in, like, f fast food places? They're- like, you could totally get- if you got locked in there, you'd be screwed. You'd be- you'd be fucked. So, like... Like, at my work, we literally- we were literally required to wear our headsets into the- into the, uh... Into the, uh, fast food, the, uh, blah, 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 into the freezer, because our door, our freezer door, had problems. We had to get looked at more than once while I was working there. <laughs> so they were like, hey, just in case something happens again, and, <laughs> oh, look like I was gonna jump on my lap. Um, we're, we're gonna do, we're gonna... We're going to require everyone to have a headset when they go in, just just for safety's sake, is basically what they were what they said about it. So it was like, okay, I can live with this. I don't I don't see the point of taking him off anywhere. Trapped? Uh, there's been a there was a couple times where people got trapped for like five ten minutes, not very long, because uh, people had the headsets on. Which is why they required him. Because it did turn out to be a really good idea. But, ah, oh, those freezers, they could get really cold, so. I like this, the waves. It's really funny because I'm in Ulta, <laughs> which is literally a desert. Hence why it's a freezer. <laughs> exactly. There we go. Well, with all of the, like, chicken. Unless it's just a produce refrigerator. But they, depending on how your, uh, if you have your settings set wrong, they, it could be bad. Like, if, if you, like, s screwed up the settings and have the Protoss refrigerator really low, that could screw it up, but... The time went up again? Fuck. We're okay. We're okay. We're at, we're now in 48. So we're no longer at the... The, this, the average wait time is usually based on how long each person has sat and waited. 
So it might not be a full 18 minutes for us. It could be like 17 minutes. Which isn't really that much better, but... <laughs> this is this is always what happens with DPS classes, to be honest. You sit and you wait here like this forever and ever. But if you're a healer or a tank, you go. You're, ju you're just done. Ugh. I'm still kind of reeling over the- I, I, I keep saying it, but I'm reeling over the fact that I can play the Reaper class, like, ugh. <laughs> no, Automa did not hate that. <laughs> oh my god. Auto mod is so funny. Wow. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, look on the bright side. Once this is over, we'll have been here for like two hours. I have a lady count named Obedient Healer. <laughs> See, healing scares the fuck out of me. But not as much as tanking for some reason. Like, on the scale of things I am willing to do, it's DPS, healer, and then tank. But I gotta do the tank classes eventually. I have to do them, because I want to get all the classes. So you just blame the DPS guy. And that's why I never do bad. I hope. <laughs> I think I do fairly well as Bard. For DPSing, but that's also my main class, so I know it the best. So of course I'm going to do the best with the class I I main. But I do my best to try and keep my damage output as high as possible, you know? I just realized that Reapers don't have... I don't think they have a... A dot weird. Maybe they do and I just didn't notice. Are dots is dot an acronym that other games use? I know it's used in 14 to refer, refer to damage over time but I don't know if other games use the same term. Oh no, okay. So it's a 14 thing. It's probably use there's probably a similar acronym in other games, it's just not dot. It's just poison. You know what, that's fair. RuneScape probably only has like two two of those types, whereas 14 has like probably a different version for every class. <laughs> like, uh Bards have the poison, uh well, both bards and a, are the summoners have their own forms of poison. Uh, the okay, black mages and I believe red mages have their own. They're both thunder-based ones. Uh, I believe both uh, scholar and white mage have the arrow based one which is the air damage oh hey the time went down to 15 nice uh machinist has one and i don't remember what it is i don't remember what it's called like like if i see it, i know it but yeah well you use mpv but you have it yourself yeah See, uh, a lot of the time, uh, people are meant to dodge attacks, like, cause a lot of the, a lot of the enemies use AoEs, which have the telegraphed event attacks, and if they're not using the AoEs, they should be, uh, they should be targeting the tank, so DPS and healers shouldn't be getting, like, status effects on them. So usually people don't 
have to worry about side effects on themselves if they're playing, like, doing dungeons or raids or so on. Unless there's a specific mechanic tied to you, uh... Those attacks aren't dodgeable. That's fair. Mm hmm Just different combat styles, and everyone brings the same stuff, really. Just, just different tier gear for price points. I see. This high tier is like 3 billion gold. Okay, our economy in 14 hasn't gotten that fucking bad. Okay. Thank God. The hi the highest it goes is like in the millions right now, so. Yikes. Yeah, like last I checked, uh let me let me see if I can find it. Uh these tops, these uh exarchic tops, I'll go for like I think a couple million a couple mil in gil on fourteen, and they're like they were like the top, uh, the top of the tier list for, uh, item levels for level 80. Like, okay, so 14 also has this thing called item level, which you see right here. This little blue number right here. Oof. Yeah, see, that type of activity is extremely frowned upon in 14. Like, there's literally, if you go to the report function for uh, players, there's literally the first thing that pops up is report for RMT activity. And I do it very often, because I hate the stupid messages of, oh, come get this at this. Like, no. This is fictional money, fuck you. Get reported, bitch! Yeah, they actually got rid of one of our equipment slots. I think I've talked about this before, but we used to have a belt slot that was, like, right here. Or maybe it was right here. In between these two. Either One of these two. It was somewhere around here. I would have to go and look back at, uh, VODs, so. Yeesh. That's not good. Oh, hey, we're number four on the waiting list. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. <laughs> yeah, highly disapprove of our MT. Oh, here we go. Uh, of course, that's why they don't. Big yikes. I always, I always do hello 07. Oh, holy shit, we're... Oh. We're in Fractal. I haven't done this in so long. Oh, shit. <laughs> Okay. Nervous. I'm nervous. I haven't done this one in such a long time. This is a Heaven's Ward, a level 60 dungeon. Ooh, we get a bonus because one of the new players is new. Oh, this is their first time? Nice.
I just told I just told the healer that we're here for them. Ah, oh, our, our uh, the other reaper. <laughs> I just now we're both reapers. We got two reaper. <laughs> I want to hit this one because it's closer to me. So I'm still learning, like. all the shit. for this class. The deep gold war scythe was finally bounded to you. That took its sweet time. I do think it's funny that there's... <laughs> I'm just kind of stuck on the fact that there's... Whoa! Whoops, I did the wrong thing. Whoops, I hit the wrong button. That's okay, that's on me, that's on me, that's on me. I hit the wrong button. That was me. I hit the wrong button. I messed it up for myself. I don't think I'm doing too bad right now. Nice! Yeah, so this dungeon, uh, for, like, context, is the Heaven's Ward, level, a level 60 Heaven's Ward dungeon, where, uh, you are in, oh, god, I'm blanking out on the name, but you are in a testing facility. For, uh, the uh, old Allegan, uh, Empire, and an old facility that you break into for story reasons. I'm fine. This is fine. Okay, okay, okay. I was so scared I took that I was gonna take damage there. But I'm okay. I'm doing better than the other, the other, uh... Reaper for a second there was, like, badly damaged. I'm gonna do this. There we go. Oh, that's the dot. Okay, that makes sense. I figured out what our dot is. It took me a little bit, but I figured out what the dot is. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I, yeah, I took damage from that. I was like, oh fuck. Oh darn. There's no point in me using that skill. Yeah, this is for- this whole place is an old facility by an Allegan, the Allegan Empire, which is, like, a super old empire that isn't really around anymore. <laughs> like, story-wise, they've, uh, in-universe, the lore is that they fell- oh, God, I don't remember how they fell. Probably to their own hubris, you know, the usual Imperial thing. <laughs> it was a very long time ago, it was one of the- oh, God. What was the age? I, mean, I always forget the like specifics of the lore, like the ages and stuff. I'm gonna attack this one. Oh, I took all I hit all of them. Oh, okay, that's nice. I'm 
Nice. Delightful. I like being able to attack all of them at once. Pass. And pass. I have no need for those things. Tank stunned him by accident. That's fine, that's fine, this is fine. Usually in dungeons, like, uh, like, especially the lower, the higher end dungeons. Ah, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I accidentally aggroed something on me. This is fine. I just bring it this way. There we go. That's what, that's what needs to be done. Sometimes uh, enemies will get aggroed on you no matter what you do. Just gotta live with it. I'm trying to remember the story reason why we are here. There wasn't like a story reason, I just don't remember what the story reason was. Oh, oh, we got away! We got away! I think we got- Oh shit. Oh shit, it found- it, they saw me. Uh, this is fine, this is fine. I am okay. I am going to sit back here. Out of- out of sight, out of mind. It's fine, I'm okay. Let's- I- we need to kill this- this- we need to kill this chimera! We need to kill this chimera, this thing needs to go down! Okay, there we go. Part of the reason that super one needs to- needed to go down was because, uh... Because the Chimera is actually- that Chimera is specifically a boss of another lower level dungeon. <laughs> like, I think a level 40? It's Cutter's Cry. If you look it up, it's uh, the final boss in that one. So it behaves- it has the same behavior as its, uh... Oh, I did hit it. Damn it, it moved. This is fine. Oh, it's okay. Oh. I'm okay. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. I'm gonna stay back here though. Okay, this is fine. I am okay. I think I just realized that our tank's name is... I'll say it after... <laughs> ah, shit. Okay, uh... It's- ah, uh, it's gang... Okay, okay, this is fine, this is fine. This is fine. It still got me. It's fine. This is fine. <laughs> I don't need any of this. Sorry. I'm, I'm also trying to get used to, like, playing on PC again, because... 
It wants it what the game wants me to strafe when I go like this. It wants me to strafe and it's that's like when I'm in the, in the middle of a fight it wants me to strafe. And I'm not really used to that because in the PC PS4 version, it does just like it doesn't work like that. There we go. I think I got everything. There we go. Oh, here we got it. Never mind. Defense Pro Call version 1 disengaging. Let's go! Look at this. Look at this fucking place. Holy shit. It's huge. I always forget how big this place is. I'm gonna zoom out a little more. There we go. Oh, here we go. Move forward. Ah, shit. This is fine. Okay, uh. Oof. Okay. Bounce. Woo! I love being fleeing across the, the empty void of the, uh, the destruction. It makes me feel very safe. Ow. Okay, why is it targeting me? Oh my god, don't stand on top of me, please. It specifically is targeting me. Uh. Come on, baby. No. It's always too far away for me to do anything about it. I think we have to go over here. Wait, no. I think it's this way, isn't it? We have to go to this one? Yes, we have to go to this one. I didn't even see them go past. They were like on the other side and now they're, they're, they're... What the fuck is going on? We're, we're just waiting for the healer to catch up. Healer's not here yet, so. And now we're doing the final boss. No, the place? Uh, this is the core of the uh, this research facility we're in. <laughs> Guess we are in, currently in a research facility. No, th this type of vibe has been around in 14 since, like... Ow. Oh, 
that's not good. This is, this is like they've had like stuff like this in 14 since like Game content for Heaven's War looks like this. Uh, there we go. I just realized that I, I don't know if either of us used our limit break. Unless I, he might have used his. I don't know. There's actually a whole uh, raid with a similar vibe, like whole, whole like four, a lot of raid. Like there's not three. Actually, no, all the raids for uh, Realm Reborn have this vibe. Actually. Oh, but I, I, I passed. Didn't I pass? I'm gonna leave. Bye, guys. <laughs> Yeah, like, okay, I'll, I'll bring up my uh, duty finder and. So, in Realm Reborn. Uh, so, the Praetorium and the Castrum both have, like, tech vibes because they're the Gurlian Empire. So, these two right here. Then there's Pharaoh Sirius, which is a, a lighthouse, which actually probably doesn't really have a lot of the. That type of vibe. But yeah, uh. Let's see here. Heaven's Word. Yeah, see, uh, there's a Aether Chemical Research Facility, which is in the same area actually as the last dungeon we just did, which is right here. Uh. This is the Anti Tower, which I guess the Anti Tower is kind of more. It's like. An in between where it's got more of a mystical vibe, I guess. Oh, this is Belsar's Ball. Uh, there's a Castrum Albania uh, in Stormblood. Uh, oh, I, for I forgot they made a hard mode for Fractal Con Continuum. Continuum? Blah, 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 blah. Gimlet Dark is a thing. I guess a twinning technically would also count as a more... And the Academia and Anadir. An Animistius Anadir. Fact. Well, you know, while I'm thinking about it, well, I'm going to switch to my bard class, and I'm going to just do a really like one of my favorite areas of Shadowbringers because it's it's one of my favorite areas. Where is there? It is. Uh, where is it? Salt Lake Land. I'll go here. I'll just go here. Yeah, the castrums are like Garlean fortresses. But they're not really like traditional castles. But they're called. I think castrum literally means castle, though. Like, I, I think it literally just means castle. <laughs> okay, let's 
let's see here. Uh, there's actually a church that you have to go into for one. Wait, what is... Oh, there it is. I don't know why I didn't just teleport there. Oh, well. Look at that! A whole city. And we could go into it. Those are actually all in-game models. That isn't like a skybox. <laughs> well, all of them are model in-game models. Like, there's some that are probably distant skybox. But many of these are actual buildings. <laughs> that you can land on. It's cool. <laughs> okay, I'm going to land on this building right here in front of me. Here I go. If I can get there faster, please. I am begging. There we go. And see if your player couldn't land on if your player could walk on this, your uh mo your mount would not be able to land. Oh, there's another player up here. Hey, sorry. Sorry, I'm getting into your uh, introspection time. I'll go down here instead. <laughs> I'm, I'll go down here instead, buddy. I won't interrupt your me time. <laughs> and then here's like the actual streets. I really like this area and I hope I'm, I'm crossing my fingers that, get, that there's something of a similar vibe, even just in a dungeon in Endwalker. I think there is. I think the moon area is supposed to be like that, but I haven't gotten there yet, so. I only know what prompts us to go to the moon. Realized, but I can like first person this shit. Get like a really cool like screenshot like this. The moon is a giant star. There, I didn't think I got it without the UI, so I wanted to double check. Wee! I'm going to take damage. I almost died. <laughs> It's fine. I love that you can take moon, like, uh, moon damage. <laughs> Falling damage and so, like, and if you're not in combat, it just takes you down to 1 HP if you fall from a high enough height. <sighs> Here's the NPCs of the area, by the way, these cloaked figures. Also, look how tall things are. Oh, look, yeah, look how tall this, look how tall this NPC is. I'm like a child. This is the actual story reason, like, behind right there. Why they're so tall, but... Hi guys, I'm just gonna stand in the middle of your little, like... Yeah, see, I'm going just five right here. <laughs> hey! You're supposed to stay! Rude. Just leaving like that. Wow. Anyway, I love this area a lot. It's I, I like I like the feel. I just like the vibe, you know. Also, the aetherite's really cool. I mean, look at that shit. Look at that shit, man. Oh, you can't see it now, but <laughs> stupid handrails in the way. Yeah, it's like, it feels almost like extra big in comparison to the usual Aetherites, and I think it's partially to go with the vibe of, these guys are giant tall people, <laughs> so it's more their size than our size. <laughs> I 
I love I love the different designs because in a realm reborn almost, almost all the etherites look exactly the same but starting in Heavensworth they started like changing up the designs to the point where we got to this <laughs> look how sick this is I, I really like the new the new designs too these are the teleport stones so basically uh when you go to one you haven't been to before hello sir you aren't wearing a shirt uh it's been, it is it's also to mark a sanctuary so like well see how my ex my exp bar has a little uh, moon next to it it's a buddy boy with a shirt shirt on sorry uh, that means I'm in a sanctuary and it means that I get a a rest bar like so so you don't see how my exp bar has like that blue bar underneath the yellow bar. That means I get bonus EXP. And you only get this bonus EXP. I guess. I, I don't know what World of Warcraft's uh, system is. But this bonus EXP only uh, accumulates if you log out in a sanctuary. And it only accumulates when you're like... I think it only... They might have changed it, but... It used to be that it only accumulates while you're uh in the sanctuary i uh, logged out it, i think it's supposed to encourage people not to like you know spend so much time blogged into 14 that they like pass out you, like you know how that's a big issue in, in a lot of places where people will like get so deep into an mmo where they'll literally crash <laughs> yeah i think it was supposed to like be a safeguard because it incentivizes people to log out for a few hours, which means that maybe they'll go and get some sleep. So. That, that's, uh, I think it's a good thing. I don't, I, I know so it probably doesn't, like, completely get rid of it. People doing that, but I think it does help just a little bit. Just enough that it's not as just for the week. <laughs> oh, you're sure about that? Because when I sleep, I get extra EXP. Hmm? <laughs> 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 uh, anyway. I actually think we're- okay, I'm gonna switch uh, over to the other screen. Uh, and I think I'm going to I think we'll go go ahead and log out. I think I'm gonna log out as a reaper though. And we wait. I think we'll do just a little bit of a. I'm gonna log out as three for class. <laughs> Yeah, I had a lot of fun today. Like, I discovered I could play the Reaper class. So that was my- that was generally my, like, first day doing a dungeon with the Reaper class, so... I'm starting to get a fill of that class. Oh, is it? Give me a hot second. Is that better? 75% of what it was. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> I did make the game- I, I did up the desktop audio a little bit for the game. So that was probably what happened. I should have uh, put it back down after I got out of the game. <laughs> anyway, um... I think I'm gonna really fast switch the category to just chatting, because we're kind of the just chatting part of the stream. Uh, uh. There we go. It's been updated. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the, the Heaven's Turn event, it's it's always kind of a uh, short one. Like, 2021's was really short, too. They, they're usually just, go do a fate, come back, you're done. 
Uh, I think because of COVID, we've been having a lot of shorter events, too, for the other ones, where they're only, like, one, maybe two. Like, the Starlight Celebration was really short, too. But, um... I can't wait to... <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> well, the reason the, the events are shorter is because uh, Square Enix, uh, Yoshi P, the, the Japanese dev team, <laughs> is having a lot of fun times. I'm kind of scared to Google it, though. 50 lane highways. What the shit? That's a lot of... And they're still having traffic jams? Question mark? Holy fuck. Okay, I'm a little scared to even look at these traffic jams. Uh... I'm do I'm googling I'm googling. <laughs> Honda. Uh, Beijing. Graphic. <laughs> it's like the third first thing that pops up. Ah uh, yes, cars. Let me, let me see if I could just... I'm gonna try something. No, it's not gonna work that way. Uh... Let me... Let me... <laughs> Where, where's my paint? Where's paint? It was in paint! For 12 days! I'm literally- I'm gonna call this Lamau, what? <laughs> so I can- They went like 1 p.m. on average. Oh, that's fun! I will from the label, this is 10. So this is the picture I found. If I can fucking- What the shit? How long? Hello? Where are you? Where'd you go? There it is. It's the picture I found. I'm just sitting there going, oh. That's. That's a lot of cars. <laughs> I'm just sitting there going, oh my god. And I think the funniest thing to me is like. What is that little thing on the side? Like, on the uh, left hand? Is that the opposite direction? Like, out of Beijing? I'm- I am- holy shit. Cause it looks like it's a road! And then they're going in the opposite direction, so I'm like- Oh no, there's another road on the other side too, never mind. I, I just saw the road on the other side as well. <laughs> uh well, that was an adventure. Uh oh man. I should look up you know what while we're doing we're we're here. I'm gonna look up and see what events see if they've announced that there any of the other events for twenty twenty two for fourteen. Not the My 22 events. Let's find out. Everything's just about heaven's turn. 
Yeah, it's all, it's all just about Heaven's turn right now. So it looks like they haven't made any mention of the rest of the events for this year. Oh, that photo was from them going from 50 lane highway to 20 lanes. Oh! Well, that's, that's even worse, actually. Like... Why would they? Why would they? I mean, I can sort of understand why, but like at the same time. Let's see here. Get the introduction out of my face. Let's see. Hello? Hello? All Saints Awake? The All Saints Wake Awake, Awake event for last year is gonna be this month at the end of the month. Apparently. What? I like the All Saints Wake event. It's basically the Halloween event. But like Okay. Yeah, it says that it got, because of, uh, the, uh, launch of Endwalker, it got delayed. But they promised to do one, so they were just, like, instead of just doing a half-assed one, I guess they decided to put more effort into it. So... Yeah, I thought it was weird because all of the like uh, news articles that were talking about 14's uh, events mentioned there was an All Saints Wake event, and I was like, "Well, where is it? <laughs> I I'm here, I don't see it anywhere." But turns out that they decided to push it back to the end of January for some reason. And so, like, okay, the usual events every year is Heaven's Turn. Uh, Valentine, the Valentine's and Little Ladies Day event that they take, that I think usually takes place at the same time. Um, or I, I think, or maybe they alternate. Something like that. Um, there's Hatching Tide, which is Easter. <laughs> Obviously. There's Moonfire Fair, and then there's the Rising Rising is the year the yearly anniversary event. Uh, and then after that, it's us that's usually when the uh, that's usually when All Saints Wake happens after the Rising, which is in August. And then we have Starlight Celebration in December because it's Christmas, essentially. And then there's always, like, random events going on, too. Like, I kind of wish they hadn't done... Like, they had the Dragon Quest. They re-ran the Dragon Quest event last year. From October to November. Like, during those la last weeks of October to the beginning of November. And I, I kind of wish they didn't. And instead focused on doing the All Saints Wake event instead. Because that event was boring. <laughs> There was, like, nothing to it. Like, I have it on my YouTube channel. The bot of that event. And that event was... It was sort of like the event today where it took, like, practically no time at all to go do it. Essentially. Like, it was like, oh, we're done. Time to go. So... I mean, the 15 event happened last year, but, like, I already did that on my main, so. 15 minute death. I mean, they technically even had, just, like, it's just, uh, they just have to, like, implement the event coding-wise through an update or something, or, like, a flag. I'm assuming the data's still just there on the server side. They just need to, like, put in, like, I'm not even sure how they, like, there's probably, like, flags and shit that they have to, like, put up for, like, dates and times and shit like that. 
because usually the events don't pop up during patches. It's always just when they're said to pop up by the dev team, so. The other 15 event's good. I like the 15 event. I, I also covered that with an alt because my main character, my main, which is Kiran, which is who you see on the screen right now that I drew art of, is the one who uh, has already done it. So I don't get anything out of it if I do it again. I have all I have all the the clothing items, fashion items, the I even have a car. I have the four person car. I have the regalia. Suck it, nerds. <laughs> now you have to go buy it on the on the mock station. <laughs> yes, it can fly. It even transforms when it fl when you like when it flies. <laughs> it's really funny, actually. Because, like, in the actual 15, it flies as well. So. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd hope it transforms, too, because four 15 has the... The, uh... Fly mode, too. It'd be weird if they didn't do that, right? They also, uh, last year, I think it was last year, it was either last year or the late 2020, they actually made it, they actually implemented a, uh, you made, implemented a way for people to fly in a Realm Reborn areas, which is something people couldn't do up until either 2020 or 2021. Like, before then, you could only, like, like, run on mounts at the most. Now you can fly through those areas. But... <laughs> There was a time, shortly after people started doing that, where they went and found an untextured rock. And like, I think Gridania, in one of the Gridania Black Shroud areas. I don't remember which one it was, uh, but apparently loads and loads of people were going to that spot. I, I didn't bother. I was like, untextured rock. Ooh. But it was, like, a thing a lot of people went to, and the Tev team was like, Oh, shit. There's an untextured rock. And I don't remember what they did. I think either they made it so you couldn't go to that specific spot. So they put up, like, an invisible wall there. Or they got rid of the rock. I don't remember what they did. But that, the whole thing is kind of funny. Like, they... Visible walls are big, yeah. It is it is cool though to fly through a realm reborn areas. Put them in two place that players shouldn't reach. Yeah, they put they put the invisible walls there, I think, because players could technically reach that area now because through flying. And they were sensitive about the untextured rock. <laughs> For obvious reasons. I mean it was it was from a realm reborn. They were they literally had to rebuild the game from scratch. God that <laughs> you follow the development, like there's vi there's like a bunch of videos following the following the whole story between 1.0 and 2.0 and that whole fucking mess and how 14 went from one of the worst MMOs to one of the best ones so and it's it's a mess it's oof oof it is cool though to like think about it like it like the original Final Fantasy 14 is not an MMO I think I would play to be honest it's a little too uh guide heavy I think code spaghetti <laughs> I mean there's some cool ideas that uh, 1.0 had which was like filled dungeons 
which were like little like areas you could explore that had like enemies and stuff. Like they had a couple of cool ideas, but I don't think with all the other issues for a 1.0 had, I don't think they would have they were able to keep it, keep that. But that's what RuneScape usually does. Fair enough. But in fairness, RuneScape probably has <sighs> what's the word I'm looking for? I want to say infrastructure for that, but. If, nope. <laughs> I can't handle it. Uh oh, RIP. Yeah, most of the games I play, MMOs I play, oh, can't handle it. It's just weird. Is it laggy in those areas or. <laughs> Not laggy. Not fun. Hard to edit. Oh, okay. Okay. Yikes. Yikes. That sucks. Oh, okay, yeah, that would do it. Oof. Yeah, it sounds like they'd probably have to train people if they have their own coding language. <laughs> so. I mean... I mean, that's some dedication, at least. Oh, well, they hired a bunch of people recently? Oh. Well, maybe one of them will crack the code. being trained. Yeah. Makes sense. Five months? Oof. Well, hopefully they'll be able to get to work soon. Ish. Soonish. <laughs> yeah, I... Most of the MMOs I play have instance dungeons. Like 14 does. Like, uh, the other one that I like, I played when I was younger a lot was Mamanoji, which I usually just call Mabby. Uh, which is an old, uh, Korean, I think? Yeah. I think they did instant to, like, instant dungeons to, like, help with the player lag, so. Yeah, Faki did. I know they were having issues at one point because, like, no matter what they did, they could- the game kept, like, installing weird. And some of the, like, textures weren't- weren't loading in. So there'd just be a black void. <laughs> and they couldn't- so they, and they were having a hard time playing, like, even just looking at the game because of that, but- Thousand players in one chunk, and then it crashes the server. Else, oh, yeah. I think the only times I've had lag with fourteen is uh, when there's when I let the players in Limsa load, which I usually don't. I just make a run for it as soon as I get into Limsa. In most most of my uh. Most of the time when I'm in Limsa Lumenza, I just make a run for it because I don't... that one bottom area is always so filled with players. I I never really understood why uh, Limsa was the city state that got chosen for being the big uh, marketplace. Mm hmm. I think the other time I think I've had lag is. Very specifically, during PvP sections in the 72-man 
PvPs. Especially when we're all doing... Especially when we're all doing attacks. Like, if all the 72 people are in one place and they're all doing attacks, that's when my- my- I get a little bit of lag. So. Maybe sometime I'll, I'll show- do some PvP stuff. I'm really bad- I'm not- well, I'm not really bad, but I'm not great. <laughs> you just can't- you just noticed, Baki? Pocky came running. Yes, I was talking about it. <laughs> I'm good at making people fall asleep, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um... The weird thing about 14 is that there's not really any reason why any of the why the other city states shouldn't be a good marketplace area either. It's just for some reason everyone goes to Limsa to buy stuff for the marketplace. Because uh the way 14's marketplace works is there's literally just a board. You go to the board and then you search the item, and if there's items available, if there's items on the marketplace, you can buy it. It's sort of like eBay. <laughs> I don't know why I said eBay. But it's sort of like it has a listing on a marketplace, and then there's not like any, like, you don't have to find a player that has the item, so. Mm -hmm. It used to be different back in 1.0, but 2.0, they changed it to what they have now. Well, maybe it's not 2.0. Maybe it was something else. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going search and buy quantities. Yeah. 14's like that, too. But there's, like, a lot of different ways you can search for the items, so. Ugh. Is it teasing Pocky time? Pocky, 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 Pocky. <laughs> Pocky, 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 Pocky. How many times do you think I have to say Pocky before they, before he notices? Pocky, 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 Pocky. <laughs> there he is. Pocky Pocky. It's gonna be green tomorrow. <laughs> Pocky just accepts it. Pocky just like, yes, that is what I am. Pocky's gonna be green tomorrow. Green hair. <laughs> I'm exposing you on twitch.tv. Oh fuck. I just I just my brain just went, hey Pocky, you're gonna be the Joker. <laughs> just don't wear any red red or purple suits. Pocky, you'll be fine. No, no, no red. <laughs> we live in a society. Four on stairs. Hockey. That's not something you should like brag about. It's fine. I'll just put cushions at the bottom of the stairs. It'll be fine.
Ah, uh, carpet stairs. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn all my stairs to ramps. It's fine, it's fine. We'll just slide down them instead. And then we'll get little pulleys and pull ourselves up. <laughs> Can you imagine a house where there's like it's it's got multiple floors but there's no stairs. Hey, carpet but it saves Pocky from crappy so funny. I guess it has to do. <laughs> Ladders. But pulleys are more fun. Cause then Cause then you can sit in the Cause then you can sit in like a swing and then you can just push a button and it just brings you up. But, ima but imagine just a, a house that just has slides. And then netting. Like, the, like instead of having like a ladder or the pulley system, it just has like a net on the wall that you have to climb up. And then... And then the only way down is to slide down the slides of the, in the house. And everyone who sees this is like, why why did you build this way? Why did you build build it this way? And and the, the person who owns it who built it that way is like, because I crave chaos. <laughs> Fucking no. Gross. Cleaning gutters. Disgusting. Could it be me? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Are you, you're just heaping more and more onto Pocky's plate. Like, God, do this for us, Pocky, and this, and this. Alright, be Pocky. We'll remember you. Or I'll remember your brave sacrifice. <laughs> I think Pocky's probably making that face. The embarrassed one. You have a height issue. I'm the one who doesn't care about heights anymore. <laughs> I went on. I went on a. So okay, this is a random tangent, but it made me think of it. Do you guys know those rides that are like uh, they lift you up high and then they drop you, sort of like the the Twilight Tower of Terror. Twilight Zone Terror Terror. <laughs> but yeah, so, uh... Those rides that have, like, they're like the Twilight Zone Tower Terror where it, you, like, it, like, lifts you really high up and then drops you. Except it's the one of the rides that has like the open air ones. So it's just you going up with your legs dangling out in open air. <laughs> when I was like 16, 17 years old, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. And I went, and I was like, I gotta get over my fear of heights. So I got on it. I went up. And then I experienced it, and I went like, I want to do that again. So I became an adrenal adrenaline junkie. And he... <laughs> the story of how I became an adrenaline junkie.
Wahahaha. <laughs> 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 That's what I'm there for, fucking. <laughs> Cry. But, but what? You will argue with me? Hmm? Hmm? You will argue with me? <laughs> oh, you want, you want you to drag you on to one. I see, I see. I see how it is. Well, I will gladly go on and laugh at you both as I go get in line <laughs> to ride one. I'll wave at you guys from the top. <laughs> you go you guys have fun as earth dwellers. I'm going to ascend. I mean, I mean, it could be worse. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Do I, uh, I'm also going to talk about another ride that I, so, uh, I, I can't ride it anymore because the, it's, so you know those rides that have like the over the shoulder restraints? There's some of those I can't ride anymore because the over-the-shoulder restraints will dig into my collarbone, and it- th that hurts? So... Uh, no thank you. Not for me. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. Ouch. Uh... been doing theme park in like 10 years see i've i think i've been to theme parks more often than uh amusement parks they've always been more my thing than uh theme parks have been come on give me a hot second okay this is so <laughs> sorry i need to check to see if the site was still <laughs> muted um, cause I just opened Twitch up, but, uh, I, I've been to theme parks more recently, but the last time I went to a park was 2017. Yes. I went to Disney World and Universal Studios because my siblings were having their graduation. It was their graduation gift because they're twins. They got to have a bigger one than I did. So... Like, for mine, we went to California. For theirs, we went to Florida. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I mean... <sighs> amusement parks, a lot of them have been going to be getting a lot more expensive in the past few years. I think that's partially because people... I think a lot of people have been just been going to theme parks instead. <laughs> Because it, it's sort of like, do you want to pay eighty dollars for an amusement park or eighty dollars to go to a, just a theme park? <laughs> well, this is not the only theme parks. There's a lot, there's a uh, there's actually a park in Utah that is has no rides at all. It's just a like experience you go you be paid to go in and they have it's like set up to look like a medieval village type thing <laughs> i like experiences and i think they also have like you can learn to like fire a bow and i they do have like a tour like a story that goes on like like 
each like season they have a a story like last year they had a like for a month they're open limited capacity for a uh greek style thing called mythos they even have like little temporary uh displays so like for mythos they had a like a greek statue type thing on their fountain which was which was cool actually like you could you could sort of tell that it was made to be able to be taken off and on easily because you could sort of see where the seams were but at the same time it was it was cool <laughs> like <laughs> it's not really something you see a lot of like places do like the the big amusement park in Utah is uh one of them is well, one of them is Lagoon and they they are so expensive these days my god Caro wins hmm I think there's some seven flag parks here in Utah we got a lot of water parks in Utah. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Like, that's a thing we have to deal with. <laughs> but, um... Oof. $40 a day. Yeah, I think... You know, I'm gonna look it up. I think... What is a lagoon? <laughs> I just I'm gonna I'm gonna just Yeah, this is the right one. So uh for Lagoon for their holiday tickets, which is what they've got right now available, it is sixty-seven dollars. <laughs> so and that's just for one day. They've gone down in price a little, actually. Caro Wins has. Oof. <laughs> That's not including parking! Ah! Parking is $20. Yikes. That's where they make their money. It's the parking. <laughs> the parking fees like they, they rub their little hands together and go <laughs> we'll make some money off the parking <laughs> oh boy isn't that fun anyway Like, like how a brain surgery is fun. <laughs> no, wear some. Uh, I'm so sick of people not wearing masks. Just wear them. Just, just wear them, please. I am begging. <laughs> just wear the goddamn masks, please. I'm begging you. It's, it's for everyone's like. Long term safety and health. I've been inside in four days. I have to. I work outside. <laughs> Granted, I don't have any shifts this week. That sucks. The, the one week where I'm probably gonna have to not be able to drink. Just stay inside and talk to Pocky when he gets home. <laughs> if, you, if you hear that, Pocky, you have to pay me talking to you fees now. That was a joke, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh. Oh, I hope I'm not
like, like actually cry or like the <laughs> type of cry where you're faking it. <laughs> One dollar per word. Sister bonding with with me uh, requiring one dollar per word. <laughs> Kitty. But um. So I would I was talking about this earlier but about my PlayStation Four. Um, if I don't get it fixed during the time, don't worry, my race will be two dollars for. If I don't get my PS4 fixed within the time period that I gave the wall fixed, that the carpet taken care of, I will just perish. No. No. I will I'll do it afterwards and during for streaming, during for dot hack, I will probably do a different game for a little while. Cause I have games. I have I have games, isn't that amazing? I have many options on Steam right now that I can play. So I, I like, like I could do more 14 or I could do uh, any of the games I currently have. Like I have the Borderlands games. I have these games we can start. Faz is also an option. <clears throat> but he could go stacking it. But yeah, get him off this. <laughs> minutes. Uh, yeah, I have uh, I have options for if that doesn't get taken care of in time. Which hopefully it will be, but who knows? Who knows? Anyway, I should... I actually ended up, we ended up having, getting this stream to last for a while because before it was only going to be like an hour long and we managed to make it go for almost three hours, guys. Let, let's all, let's all give ourselves a little clap. Yeah. But, um, I think I'm going to start ready, getting ready to go to sleep myself. Well, I'm not sleep, but like get ready to do some up like my last minute stuff before I go to bed which means almost 30 minutes being about to <laughs> but I am going to start getting ready to end stream so let's see I'm actually going to do this I'm actually going to do a raid for once woo if it will work you mother flipper. There we go. Okay. <laughs> no pressure to stay there, but let's get going. All right. You guys have a good night, a good week, and a good day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for Undertale. Bye! I forgot to put the stream ending thing at the very end like a moron.